Hello guys, uh, today I explain you how to update the bootloader of the 9XR Pro because I did not find any uh, solution for that on the web. So I'd like to share it with you. Welcome to we start from version 2. Point two point one of OpenTX for nine XR Pro. We just switch to bootloader mode with two trims inside and switch on. You can see that the bootloader is version one point three, which is quite old. So uh, I want to update this and in the same time I will perform a complete firmware update. The first thing to do is to prepare your files. You go to open-tx.org website. I personally recommend for this transmitter to use OpenTX 2.2.4 as the firmware. But we are also interested in getting the bootloader, which is a part of the firmware, from the latest version. I do not use 2.3.9 as firmware because I noticed a bug in the management of the multi-protocol module. So if you use multi-protocol module uh, do not use this version but this one 2.2.4 and it is much better. Open a window with this page. You will find here the Windows installer for OpenTX Companion. I will not install it today because it is already done for me, but I will download the SD card structure. Which one is it? It is OpenTX for 9XR Pro. OK, and here we download the last version. OK, the download is completed. I copy the file and I will work in this directory in my 2.2 file. Here is a demonstration file, paste, extract everything here. OK, it's done. Now we can suppress this one. We do not need it anymore. and this is just the blank structure of the card. Now we have to copy the firmware file here in order to be able to flash it. We launch OpenTX 2.2 companion and assuming that you already performed the setup here as you know exactly what you want, if you want LE mode and so on, you just have to download the firmware. OK, in demo file, and you put it in the firmware directory. No, I do not want to upload. Now we also need to download the latest firmware to get the bootloader. So this time we launch Companion 2.3 to get this firmware. The same way you have to make the settings for your own radio here and then download the firmware. No, I do not want to upload the firmware to the radio. OK. OK, now the problem is I found no tool to update the bootloader directly with OpenTX. 
I do not know if it exists or not, but personally I did not find it. So I use ER9X to perform that. Go to er9x.com website and in the download links you can find ERSkyTX for 9XR Pro. Let's see the downloads. Okay, this is the bin file. Copy and we put it in the firmware directory. Okay, now I have all necessary files, one which will be the final version of the firmware, one to get the last version of the bootloader, and one firmware just to use momentary as a tool to install the bootloader. Now, the name of these files is much longer and is not accepted by OpenTX operating system. So we have to make something shorter and same for the other one. Okay, and in the same time I recommend to suppress the sound files which are not necessary. So if you do not plan to use all these languages, remove it and we just keep English one. Now just connect the TX by USB cable, switch on, two virtual disks must appear, this one and this one, suppress all the files on the SD card, previous files that are not necessary anymore. Ok, the SD card is blank, just check the properties and file system must be FAT32. Come back to the hard disk, copy all files and pass them in the SD card. It can be very very long, so a good solution is to use a micro SD card adapter like this one and to plug in, in the computer to copy the files. Ok, it's a shift. Now eject the two virtual disks and this one too. You unplug the USB cable. Now you want to flash first with ER Skynan XR. Push on the menu button and once again to apply. Ok, it is flashed. Disconnect. Enter again to bootloader mode and you can see that we are still with bootloader 1.3 and this is not what we want to do. So, switch on and you see that in this case I've got a big uh, display problem. This TX has been repaired with a 9X LCD and not a 9XR because they are not uh, available on the market. But it is not a problem. Even if the display doesn't work, the radio is alive. Ok? So, we will use one tool that I will show you in a picture that was done with uh, another TX. Switch off. Then switch on in maintenance mode. Two trims outside and not inside. Switch on. Now you enter once. You go down once and you enter once. Ok. Now you should have flashed to the bootloader of the second file in your list. Switch off. Now switch on in bootloader mode. 
and you can see that your, your bootloader has changed. Now it is updated to 1.9 version. So it is time to choose the final version of the firmware you want. And so here 2.2.4, then to flash it. Okay. And it's done. Switch off. To Switch on. Calibration, you can do it later. And now we check. The version is 2.2.4. And if we switch off and we enter bootloader mode, it is really in 1.9. So you're done. Thank you for watching.